pages of it. Two pages? What? So, it's raining and turnout's probably going to be horrible. So what we're doing is we're going to wait around for another 50 minutes. And if nobody shows up, we're just going to do Clam Pearl Day. And then I'll compete tomorrow. Here's what it is. <laughs> and girls looks like today is a complete bust as far as the tournament goes we posted in the local Facebook group nobody seems to be interested it's really rainy it's all good we'll uh, we'll try again next month I've got some plans to change it up for next month be inside somewhere have some heat because obviously it's pretty cold we're gonna get our clam pearl day started in just a few I'm gonna go ahead and start packing everything up to be ready at 2:15 to, to whip out of here Today was very interesting. One, the tournament that I tried to hold. As far as my Twilight Cup experience, uh, I plan to go to a tournament tomorrow. Um, the Reboot Arcade, which was of course the same one that we did our Boulder Cup at. Uh, I will go to that one tomorrow and we will compete in that. What do I want to do for the remainder of today? Well, I actually ended up stacking every single Clam Pearl encounter that I had. Uh, I want to run through those really fast and catch them all. You guys have already seen everything that I at least encountered. I just ended up stacking everything except for the very first one. I did catch and get the dex entry. I can't remember exactly how many shinies I had. I'll kind of go over uh, while we're catching those my thoughts on this event and how it compared to the... Uh, The Phoebus Day. Yeah, so this is actually our first one that we got. Um, my plan is to pineapple every single one. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't think I got any 100%, but I do know that I have several shinies in here, two or three maybe. So as far as today in terms of how the event ran, uh, I think today was immensely better than Phoebus Day. Um, I, I've talked a little bit about it before, but I didn't necessarily have a problem with Phoebus Day. It just, it favored people who grind a lot more than the casual player. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. It just, it, it upsets one side of, you know, the fan base more than the other. So in terms of today, I mean, we had a huge huge list of researches that we could do and actually use those to encounter our clam pearl here which I cannot get this ball to throw um, so out of all the researches the only ones that were really like difficult that we like made sure to stack were battle in a raid evolve two Pokemon I don't think we really stacked anything else but um, that being said, the, the best thing about that is that when you stack those three, you're eliminating three at once. Let's see how this works with a regular Pokeball. Um, so, I mean, I, I really think that today ran immensely smoother than Phoebus Day did in terms of accessibility to the Pokemon, accessibility to the research, and how easy they were. I think that it was very, very, I think it was a lot better than Phoebus Day in its entirety. Um, it just, it did feel so much better, so much easier to gain Clam Pearl research and to gain 
the actual research is being completed. I mean, we seriously had like spin two Pokestops, catch a Krabby or Psyduck, like super, super easy stuff. And on top of that, the spawns that we had today were just outrageous. Like we found Prinplups, we found Tentacruels, we found Cedras, we found, I mean, Marsh Stomps, we found all kinds of things just i mean this was an amazing event in terms of how to bounce back from the phoebus day into clan pearl day definitely do feel like they did listen to the community there and they definitely did pick it up and try to do what the community wanted while also handling it fairly themselves all in all today was really great we did end up doing one latias raid which I will, uh, I will show, it'll, it'll, it'll be on that side probably. People have been talking about the shiny rates for Latias. We probably had 20 people with us yesterday and we did two Latias raids. And then we had six people today. No, 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 it was 10 people. 50 different attempts to get a Latias and in total, out of all those people, there were three. So three out of 50, that's that's crazy. That's 6%, that's a 6% chance. Um, I mean, I don't know. I definitely didn't get one. Nobody in our group got one. So it is what it is. I hope everybody had a fun time with Clam Pearl. Um, I talked a little bit about it yesterday, or maybe the day before, about how good it's actually going to be in PvP, and I don't think it's going to have a huge place in the meta. I don't think it's going to be groundbreaking in anything, but, I mean, it is uh, pretty much a dex filler for me. I didn't even know it existed probably before I started playing Pokemon Go, and the only reason I knew it existed is because I couldn't mark it off my board. So we do have a plan worked out to where if if I don't get both Huntel and Gorgibus, then my brother is actually going to trade me the one that I don't have. Hopefully, I can get one of each and just give him the one that he doesn't have. All in all, we both have a we all have a way to try to give each other uh, the Pokedex entry for whichever one we didn't have. Alex ended up getting a few shinies, and he actually evolved one of his shinies into Huntail, which was his preferred evolution. So good on Alex there. Um, I think shiny numbers for today, I don't honestly remember how many I got. I didn't get any until like three quarters of the way through. I was really, really late on mine. Weldon got three. Dylan got two. I think he got two. He might've gotten three. I think it was only two because he evolved one and then kept one. He said that he wanted to keep the golden pearl. And then Alex got three, I'm pretty sure. Um, Alex also got a shiny Phoebus and a shiny Krabby today. Um, definitely feel like the, the odds were a little boosted. But with the honestly, with the sheer amount of spawns that were happening today, they couldn't they could have not boosted it at all. I mean it was just it was an insanely insane day for spawns altogether. And Alex ended up getting two full odds. I myself got a shiny Magikarp, which I will show you guys over there. I'm gonna catch all these, and then at the very end, we're gonna we're gonna evolve some. Hey, so that is actually going to be all of them. Finally, the best one that I had was a 540. Um, so I only got two shinies at all. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. We're going to hold on to six. We're going to go ahead and try to evolve four of these. <clears throat> so we get four chances. So here's to hope. I want to mark off both of these. And Huntail. Okay, so we have our Huntail down. 
just need our Gorgibus. Come on. Come on, Gorgibus. Can we get it? Back to back? Can we get what we need back to back, please? No. And... Are you kidding? Come on. Gorgibus, please. Thank you. Thank you. I now have one of each, which means that if anyone else in the group needs one, I will be happy to give it to them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I'll just keep those other two clam pearls as well. Uh, no reason to really get rid of them. This actually means, I know this is going to be really hard for people to see, and you know what? We're actually going to ridicule that. Join in on this satisfaction with me as well. So we actually have Latias. Oh my god, it's been written up here so long. Latias is gone. Clam Pearl, Huntail, and Gorgibus, get off the board. I do actually have candies to get Vespa Queen. And I think that's the last one. Um, I'm working on Licky Licky. Weldon was supposed to give me one. Turns out he evolved one that I traded him already, so he screwed me on that. Gen 3, working its way down. We're almost there. Almost there. All right, guys, so that is actually going to be it for today. Um, please let me know how your Clam Pearl research day went. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. Um, and just make sure that if you like to like videos, make sure you do that. If you don't, you can be that guy. Otherwise, let me know what after you say. Wait, let me know what you have to say down below. And until Monday, because I guarantee I'm not going to be able to edit tomorrow's video all the way through tomorrow, I will catch you guys then.